Coach, from Philadelphia, working at Penn State, what does this opportunity mean to you? Huge opportunity. Uh, totally excited about it. You know, and, and really, it's about people. And I've known Billy O'Brien for the last 10 to 12 years, and I know he's a great coach. I want to join him, and it's a Penn State. And Penn State's known for tradition and family and work ethic and blue collar, and that's what we're all about in the weight room. So it's a really good match for us. Totally excited. When Coach O'Brien gave you a call to talk about this, what went through your mind? At first, uh, you know, I was, I was pretty surprised because he was really, you know, on that fast track in the NFL, and that really shows you what a great place this is, you know, and he was dead serious about it. And uh, I said, Billy, you know, if, if you're in, then, you know, I'm going to really talk to my wife and, and see if she's in. And she's like, let's go. So uh, it's been a neat experience, and I was fortunate enough to have a really great loyal staff at South Carolina. I've been able to bring most of them with me, and uh, we are excited to be here. Talk about what the reception's been like from the Penn State community since you've been here. First class, everything, you know, and you can tell it's all about doing it the right way. And, you know, if, if, if our players need something as far as equipment, as far as, you know, time, as far as space, as far as using a different facility for something, it's always how can we help? Um, it, even, you know, training table, for example, the first night we're there, what can we do better for our players? And I thought it was awesome already. And, so I think that's needs. How can we be better the next day and we're the last day? And, our, and it, it trickles down to our coaches and our players. So that's the whole community. Describe some of your philosophies in the weight room. Philosophy of nuts and bolts. And uh, really the cornerstones are intensity and consistency. Absolutely. And I, I don't think really what you do is really the important thing. It's how you do it. And if we can get our players to work hard and use good fundamental techniques and really be consistent. And when they come in, have good rest, good nutrition so they can be really intense, we're going to get places. Talk about what the players have been like so far in the weight room. Oh, we loved it. You know, uh, so far the reception's been great. Um, the guys, I think it's a credit to the coaches before who recruited them. I think it's a credit to them being excited about Coach O'Brien coming here. They're jacked up and uh, they have a good base of character and they're ready to work. Now it's a Thursday of a, of a lifting week. Describe some of the things the players will be doing today. Today is a lower body day, uh, but we're, we always start with an Olympic movement. So today's a hang clean. I like to do that first in the lift, try and really stimulate the nervous system. Go to a squat, and then we finish up with kind of a, a muscle building, bodybuilding circuit of lunges, pull-ups, hamstring work. And before all that, we do speed improvement. So we try and pack in about two hours of work in an hour and a half, because we, we have to abide by the eight hour rule. And tomorrow's our big morning. We get out there and we run through a good agility circuit and do some toughness drills. And so the guys know after today's workout, they got to start thinking about tomorrow. So Why so early on Friday mornings? Team building, you know, and, and it's Tuesday and Friday. And, and I think it, it's, it's always been like that. And you know what? It's not broken. Uh, get them up twice a week early in the morning. It's kind of America's routine in college football. And it's a good thing. You have to really sacrifice, really appreciate what you're doing. And um, it really gets the guys going. And it separates them from kind of everybody else. They really feel special. They're getting up and really committing to this. Coach, thanks for your time. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you. All right.